Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Adamant Algorithm. I am Surin. In this video, we are going to see what are called layer collision metrics and how to use them. Well, what are layer collision metrics and where you can able to find them in Unity? First of all, we will actually need to see a few things about uh, what are uh, the collision metrics which I am talking about. Um, hope you guys, you have actually studied these subjects in mathematics called algebra. I'm sorry, I'm not going to bore you. I'm going to be very quick about it. You must have seen something called a matrix, not the movie, but a part of algebra. So it looks like this. All right. So it has an array of numbers um, that actually given to us in a form of uh, columns and rows. And we name them like ABC and ABC into, for example, matrix multiplication goes like that. I'm not going to perform one. So quickly let you know, this is another matrix. So we will say M1 and M2. So we might have seen a few question papers, which I hated. Well, I hated it, but anyway, now it's useful for me to explain this concept. M1 times M2 is what? So don't worry about what I'm going to do, but try to understand the columns, which I'm talking about A, B, C and A, B, C. For example, column A has a connection with uh, this another a in in this matrix all right so we're gonna now this is where the concept is being used in uh, unity but it's given to us in such a way that it's very easy for anyone to understand okay i'm gonna take only one matrix now okay like this and this is the matrix a uh, b c a b c now if i ask you a question what is b c okay which means b and c or the thing is b comma c sorry what is b comma c so the first one always stands for row so i'm gonna say b this is a b and in there which one is c it represents a column so where it connects right there so the number is one so b c is equal to one if i ask you what c comma c it's simple c and c this one okay so this is how we traverse in a matrix in mathematics okay now imagine the same matrix that have collisions for example a b c a b c okay so we have a tick mark this example i'm talking about unity now i'm saying a is a stone b is a player if A falls on the player and it has a collider in unity and the person has a collider here, this collider collides with this. So what happens? Whatever happens after that. Okay. A collision happens. Now in unity as a programmer, if you want this stone A should never collide with this player. If that is your game mechanics, what you can do is you can write a program for this stone a couple of lines saying that if you know sorry on collision enter to the other if other dot game object dot compare tag is stone then destroy other dot game object so what happens is if this is a stone then we are checking at the time of collision it costs memory it takes a while especially if you have too much collisions happening at the same time there is considerable amount of performance drop okay because you are checking too many conditions at the time what you can do for you can go for layer collision matrix which is this i'll show you where it is it's under project settings now what the thing is a and b i don't want this collision to happen so all i have to do i'm going to the layer collision matrix in unity i'm going to check out a this is a and where is b b if this tick mark represents yes this a and b will collide what if if i make it no just one click of button this a and b will never take part in collisions right after that and that's exactly what we are going to do today hope this will give you this actually gives you an idea of what we're going to do now let me quickly go and play this game i'll quickly give you an example i'm the player and i actually shoot all right and as you can see there is one stone if i don't do that see i can shoot the stone correct i can shoot the stone and the stone kills me the meteor i would like to call it meteor 
okay so it actually kills me this is a game mechanic but in my game mechanic I don't want see I have two bullets I'll, sh I'll show you now left click shoots this normal bullet right click shoots my secondary fire now my game mechanic is I don't want to be able to shoot this meteor with my primary fire which is my small guns okay I want to actually hit the meteor only with my missile which is this guy okay the big one now how to create this uh, combination of collision control now very simple first thing is you need to look at layers okay so in layers if you see the starting layers I've already added and do we do have uh, render layers by default okay as you can see from 0 to 5 it's taken by unity already so there is no changing or no going back in that what we're going to do is we are going to go for edit layers and I'm going to create go for this layers as you can see up to 7 we can't do anything so from 8 you can keep add your user layers okay from 8 I can add meteor then player then uh, primary fire whatever a name I want to give uh, secondary fire okay all right now what I need to do now is I'm going to assign these guys okay the layers corresponding layers to them I'm gonna click the player now it's a prefab so don't make any mistake make sure that you guys go inside the prefab so if you have multiple copies you are applying it for all of them in here you can see the layer is given as default okay I'm gonna click that and now you can see all the user layers from 8 is being shown meet your player and this is the player so I'm gonna assign the player to that player okay I'm gonna go back open the pre uh, this one secondary fire open prefab go here secondary fire save the prefab meteor open prefab yep meteor is already assigned if it is not please change it primary fire primary fire see this is more important because I have more than one object in my prefab unity is asking you would you like to apply the layer change to all the children yes of course and the enemy oops I did not create one I guess for the enemy it doesn't matter okay so I think these would be more than enough to explain you guys now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play it once again see I can able to shoot the meteor with my primary fire which I don't want according to my game mechanics so what I need to do is instead of writing a code and I'm gonna check the condition right at the time of collision instead I'm gonna go for edit project settings and there we go thing of beauty okay this is the collision matrix as you can see up to this it's default so we are not interested in that okay see the user created these four are created by us so let me quickly check all of it now you'll see now what is our first condition I don't want my primary fire to be colliding with my meteor so as you can see the meteor is here and there is a primary fire is here see the connection here meteor it contacts it to this tick mark so this tick mark right here shows that your primary fire and meteor will come in contact so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uncheck that okay no compilation no coding nothing is required straight away you go and play the game that's it can you see there is no collision is being calculated between meteor and primary fire whatsoever okay and this is the best performance upgrade you can able to give for your 2d games okay and what else my secondary fire right I told you only secondary fire should be able to touch meteor so secondary fire is here here and its connection with meteor is switched on so I'm gonna make it switch off so meteor is not permitted to have a contact with secondary fire oh, oh I made a mistake sorry it has to all right now the player 
okay the player is by default can able to collide with secondary fire primary fire and player player self collision oh one more thing i need to tell you you can see both the names both uh, uh, on both sides for example secondary fire here and also here so there is a tick mark here what that means is self collision for example a character is walking the character is itself a same but the hands does it collide with the body yes okay so self collision or you can have several prefabs stone it's a prefab and stone a you make a several copies of the prefab does one stone contact or collide with other stone if this tick mark is on yes and one more thing is by default all collisions are switched on okay unless and until you come here and switch off things like this okay so now how the, this is how you can able to play around with it see i can do more things for example i can switch off primary fire and whatever okay in fact even see the meteor is killing me right if i don't shoot the meteor falls on the player and it kills me what i could do is if i don't want that to happen i go to meteor okay then i'll find where is the connection with the player meteor and the player right here okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch that off and i see i there is no collision will be calculated between the meteor and the player it's just completely ignored at the time of rendering okay and this is called collision matrix and you can be able to get it by again one more time edit project settings go to physics 2d the last one the layer collision matrix and this is where you can able to get so guys coding is fun but please do remember it also cost you a couple of uh, performance glitches i mean if your coding is not efficient but as far as i know i would never use uh, coding for these kind of matter because i want performance more than condition checking okay so please i hope that i have made it simple for you guys to understand layer collision matrix and uh, Anyway, so if you have come this far in this video, I think you do like the content of the channel and what I actually teach you guys. So, please stay tuned with my channel and I will be bringing a lot of stuff your way. And thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice day, guys. Bye-bye.